Winners Chapel International Nairobi invites you to join us at Shiloh 2020 theme Turnaround Encounters Come full of expectation 8th to 11th December 2020 as we broadcast live from Faith Tabernacle, Ota, Lagos, Nigeria with the Bishop Dr. David Oyedepo live on KBC Channel 1 and Radio Taifa from 10 p.m. to midnight. On the next episode. Uzuya jima ambukizi ya virusi vya HIV kutoka kwa mama hadi mtoto ni miongoni mwa hatua ambazo serikali imechukua katika vita dhidi ya ukimwi hapa nchini. J ni yapi ambayo serikali imetekeleza kuafikia ufanisi huo? Mpango wa Linda Mama umesaidia sana sana. Sasa hivi wanajua chenye tu unahitaji ni your identity card. So wakija na ile card wanaijisajili bila malipo yoyote. Tumeona wa mama wengi wakikuja kupata uh, watoto uh, kwa hospitali. Kitu yenye litutea moyo. Tukambiwa sasa na mtapata mtoto. Ukifuata haya maagizo mtapata mtoto mwenye yako nekati. Eh ni mimi. Ulitoa pikipiki. Piki. Eh mlitani sita umoka. Ni yako. Hii nduti ni yangu. Hey. Niliwahi pale Quickbit. Quickbit? Eh hey, Quickbit imekucha kusaidia wananchi kama sisi. Yes. Nilinunua 399 shillings. Tu nilikuwa the lowest unique bidder. 399 shillings. Eh hey, Quickbit shilingi moja unaweza nunua pia. Uh -huh. Shilingi mbili unaweza nunua micro. Hey. Shilingi tano unaweza nunua hata gari. Sio tupeleke huko hata. Ah ah mtu aende huko. Jiunga na Quickbit ni rahisi. Enda kwenye Mpesa, bonyeza Paybill kisha weka business number 4032353. Kwenye account, weka kodi ya bidha unayotaka na bidi yako ya chini zaidi. Kwa mfano, TV16. Kisha weka shilingi 22 kama idadi yako. Weka bidi yako pia kwenye www.quickbid.co.ke. Kumbuka, bidi ya chini zaidi ya kipeke ndiyo ununua. Quickbid, bidha abora kwa bidi ya chini. Namhojambo mpenzi mtazamaji karibu kwenye darubini ya Channel 1 leki wa tarehe 8 mwezi wa 12 mwaka 2020 ambapo tumekuandalia mambo mengi tu ikiwa pia hii leo namshikia zamu mwenzangu Boni Musambi na tumekuandalia taarifa kuhusiana na sekta ya madaktari afya na vile vile sporti na biashara lakini kwanza mtazamaji tupate vidokezo We are dying not because we want we are dying not because we are careless. We are dying because we have been neglected and abandoned. Leo usiku wakikutuita tutakuwepo kwa ajili ya kuemeka kutengeneza kauli ama kukubaliana turudi kazini. Wahudumu wa afya wanaogoma wasema wako tayari kwa mashauriano na serikali ili kukomesha mgomo huu unaoendelea. Today 521 people have tested positive for the virus from a sample size of 7,721. Kenya <laughs> COVID-19.
Naam hujambo mtazamaji na sasa karibu tuweze kukujuza taarifa hizo kwa ukamilifu. Jina langu ni Sarafina Robi, mwenzangu wa ishara ni Lucy Maura. Kumbuka pia unaweza kuzipata taarifa hizi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii pale Facebook na Twitter at KBC Channel 1 na at @sarafin_robi. Mtazamaji tukianza ni kwa wahudumu wa afya wanaogoma wamesema wako tayari mtazamaji wako tayari kwa mashauriano na serikali ili kukomesha mgomo huo unaoendelea maafisa wanawakilisha wauguzi na matibabu wanadai kwamba wamepuzwa huku wakisema watendelea na mgomo huo hadi shinikizo zao zitakaposikizwa zitaka wahudumu hao wanalalamikia kwamba ukosefu wa vifaa vya kujikinga umewaweka katika hatari ya kuambukizwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Purity Museo anatoa taarifa zaidi. Hili ni eneo la wagonjwa kusubiri kuhudumiwa katika hospitali ya matibabu maalum ya kaunti ya Busia. Wagonjwa hawana yeyote wa kuwahudumia. Wauguzi na matabibu wameungana na wenzao kwenye maeneo mengine nchini na kugoma kushinikiza masharti bora huku serikali ikiwasihi warejee kazini Some of us tuko na familia wengine tuko single mothers na watoto by in January next year watoto wote wanarudi shule hatujui tutafanya namna gani we, we want to urge all our workers even those ones who have not turned up to work today that they consider coming back on duty so that the matters that they have raised Some of them have been addressed some are still being addressed uh, through various uh, mechanisms. Wahudumu hao wa afya wamesema kuwa wana kazi nyingi na kwamba idadi ya wagonjwa ni kubwa mno. Sasa mimi niko tu hapa. Mungu na nyuma usizi sikanyaga chini. Sasa hizo anatuambia, hizo wamegoma. Unaniambia mimi niende nyumbani. Na hii mguu sina vile naweza tembea. Tangu asubuhi leo bila mgomi imeanza. Tujakula chochote, tujadressiwa sasa mguu inaasha sina vile tunaweza fanya kuna nyanya yangu mgonjo sana wagonjwa hapo wanatolewa lakini hawajapata nafuu na madaktari wanasema wajawalipa sasa sisi kama walipe madaktari nani watatudumia na tuko na magavana na jijini Nairobi wauguzi na matabibu walikusanyika katika uga wa Uhuru Park kutafuta mwingilio wa Mola na kuwakumbuka wenzao walioaga dunia Maafisa hao walichukua fursa hiyo kuikumbusha serikali kuhusu jukumu lake la kuwakinga wanapoongoza katika vita dhidi ya janga la virusi vya corona. Kwa hivyo sisi kwa kauli moja wanataka tueleze. Leo usiku wa kikutuita tutakuwepo kwa ajili ya kutengeneza kauli ama kukubaliana turudi kazini. Lakini kwa sababu wameamua kwenda kwenye mgomo Serikali imeenda kwenye mgomo haitaki kutatua matatizo zetu basi tumesema tunataka kuwa join tuenda kuimba rege na wao wahudumu hao wanaogoma wanalalamika kwamba wenzao wengi wanaaga dunia kutokana na ugonjwa wa covid-19 kutokana na ukosefu wa vifaa vya kujikinga na bima ya matibabu we are dying not because we want we are dying not because we are careless we are dying because we have been neglected and abandoned by the government and the employer who should take care of us in our working places wanasema kuwa takriban waguzi 26 na matabibu kumi wameaga dunia walipokuwa kikabiliana na janga hilo lililoathiri ulimwengu mzima purity museo darubini nairobi na mtazamaji tukisalia kwenye masala ya afya ni kwa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amekariri haja ya kuepo kwa ushirikiano wa karibu baina ya mataifa wa shirika wa kimaendeleo na taasisi za kifedha katika kukabiliana na athari za kiuchumi na kijamii zinazotokana na janga la COVID-19. Rais Kenyatta alisema juhudi za kukwamua uchumi wa kimataifa hazitafanyika kwa haraka endapo mataifa ya Afrika hayatahusishwa kwenye harakati hizo na kwamba bara la Afrika lazima lisaidiwe katika juhudi zake za kuj kwa mua kutokana na athari za ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Rais Kenyatta alisema hayo wakati wa makala ya pili ya kongamano la kusi akiongeza kuwa uchumi wa kimataifa utaimarika haraka iwezekanavyo endapo washirika wa kimaendeleo pamoja na mashirika ya kifedha ya kimataifa hayatasaidia mataifa ya Kiafrika kujikwamua kutoka kwenye athari za janga la COVID-19. I call on them to provide the necessary resources and that is especially our international development partners and international financial institutions to complement those of our governments 
as we implement our post-COVID-19 recovery plans. Rais alitoa wito kwa mataifa ya Kiafrika kutafuta mbinu ambazo zitasaidia kukabiliana na athari za janga la COVID-19 na ambazo zinaweza pia kukuamua uchumi kwa manufaa ya raia wao. The current situation is not merely a crisis but one which has provoked nations to rethink and to come up with new innovative ways of building our nations for survival. Fostering agility within our MSE MSME sector will be instrumental in our build back better program. Akitaja Kenya kama mfano, Rais Kenyatta alisema utawala wake umezindua mikakati ya kunusuru uchumi wa taifa kutokana na athari za corona. Alisema serikali itatangaza hatua mwafaka za kuimarisha uchumi. Kwingineko Rais Kenyatta amewahimiza wanasayansi chipokeze nchini kutumia ujuzi wao ipasavyo na kuzindua uvumbuzi ambao unaweza kuletea taifa ili ufanisi wa kisayanzi. I firmly believe that one of the great global inventions and inventions will be one whose roots lie in the fertile soils of this exhibition. Rais alitoa wito kwa wanasayansi pamoja na waandishi chipukizi kujitolea kuhakikisha kuwa Kenya inakuwa kitovu cha uvumbuzi wa kisayansi na kiteknolojia. I am encouraged to note that the participants represent the full spectrum of our diversity as a country and as a continent. But particularly heartening is the participation of two special needs schools despite this year's constraints demonstrating truly that disability is not inability. Rais Kenyatta alisema kuwa akiwa mdhamini wa chama cha wanasayansi chipukizi nchini anajivunia jinsi chipukizi hao walivyokabiliana na changamoto zilizotokana na janga la ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Na mtazamaji tukiendelea ni kuwa wataalamu wa masuala ya kimazingira wameonya kwamba huenda kukazuka janga la kiokolojia kufuatia hofu kwamba maziwa Bogoria na Baringo huenda yakaungana kutokana na ongezeko la viwango vya maji kwenye maziwa ya eneo la Rift Valley. Wataalamu wanasema kuwa kuungana kwa maziwa yenye maji ya chumvi na safi kutasababisha janga kubwa ambalo litazorotesha hali. Tayari ongezeko la viwango vya maji kwenye maziwa hayo limeathiri familia, shule na biashara katika eneo hilo ukuta sisi usika zikitafakari kuhusu njia za kukabiliana na athari za mabadiliko ya hali ya anga Ziwa Bogoria na Ziwa Baringo yameendelea kufurika kila uchao jinsi ambavyo imekuwa ikishuhudiwa kwenye maziwa ya eneo la Rift Valley kwa muda wa miaka kumi iliyopita huku wataalamu wakisema hali hiyo inatokana na athari za mabadiliko ya hali ya anga hata hivyo ongezeko la viwango vya maji kwenye maziwa hayo mawili huenda likasababisha madhara makubwa kwa ni kuna hofu kuwa huenda yakaungana hivi karibuni If you look at what is happening here we have a fresh water lake here and up there we have a salt water lake It is a phenomenon which is so dangerous that the ecosystem here can actually be destroyed If we have the two Lakes mixing. I'm assuring you, even the flamingos which fly from here to Lake Natron in South Africa will not be there. I think where we may have lost our way is in the preparedness. Uh, one of the things I've been very curious about is how, over the last 10 years, this lake has been rising. As long as I can remember, and across the Rift Valley. These lakes have been rising. What have has been our response? Ongezeko la viwango vya maji kwenye maziwa ya eneo la Rift Valley tayari yamesababisha mzozo wa kibinadamu baada ya familia kupoteza makazi, biashara kuathirika na shule kusombwa na maji. Hali hiyo huenda ikazorota zaidi iwapo ziwa Bogoria lililo na maji ya chumvi na lile la Baringo lenye maji safi ya taungana inakisiwa kwamba riski za wakazi zitaathirika vibaya na huenda hali hiyo ikasababisha ushindani zaidi wa rasilimali ya dimu katika eneo hilo At this stage what we really need is to take care of the communities that have been displaced where are they are they have they been relocated in a way that is dignified are the children in schools now where are they I know this problem is a problem where when we bring our hands together we shall be able Uh, to really mitigate and make our people 
uh, live better lives. Kufuatia ushirikiano baina ya Kenya na serikali ya Uingereza ili kukabiliana na athari za mabadiliko ya hali ya anga nchini, Kenya itapokea ufadhili wa shilingi trilioni 1.7 katika kipindi cha miaka mitano ilikuwa kinga wa Kenya kutokana na athari za mabadiliko hayo. So we've heard that 3000 families have been displaced. Uh, there's over six schools underwater. The crocodiles are swimming around. It's it's beautiful but it's deadly. Um, and this is climate change at its most local. This is where uh, the actions that man and woman have taken has negatively impacted on our environment um, and people are suffering as a result and we have to take action. Kamchimenza Darubini Channel 1.